Let's get started. All you need is a white piece of paper and a Sharpie, a fine point Sharpie, or an artist pen or a marker, whatever you have. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna start with two circles right here on the paper. And another circle over here. Those are the eyes. Let's draw a little circle and fill it in over on the side here so it's looking over this direction. Good. Let's give them some eyebrows. And what we're going to do is we're going to start here and we're just going to go up kind of like the shape of the eye and then come out. And then we're going to come back in, kind of like a little pokey, come back out and come back in and then follow that line all the way over. Did you get that? Okay, let's do the same thing on this side and it doesn't matter that this one looks exactly like that one. Okay, so we're going to start it right here. Go up around the eye, come out, come back in, come out, and then come back in and follow that other one until about right there. Perfect. Now we're just going to put a poke right here, so like that. Kind of like a triangle. Okay? And then we're just going to make like a crown of pokies right here. So goes up and pokes, up, poke, up, poke, comes in. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. All right. Now, the head right here is going to start on the side of the eyebrow. Okay, and you can give it whatever type of hair you want. If you want to give it a mohawk, go ahead. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some crazy hair with some poking going on. But I want you to be creative and do it however you want and then stop over here on that other eyebrow. That's cute. Okay, now I'm just going to go down a little bit right here. Okay, because this is going to go behind the eyebrow. And the same thing over on this side. But now there's going to be pokes going out this way. So I'm going to draw a curved line going out. And then it comes back in goes out, comes back in, same thing on this side. Curve line going out, comes back in, goes out, comes back in. Okay? Then I like to just draw a line right here at the top. Just a little line. Okay. Now we're going to draw the mouth. And the mouth is just a long curved line that goes up on the curve. And then I draw a line that goes straight up like that and then a line that goes slanted like that. That's the tooth. You ready for the beard? Okay, these are just upside down triangles. They look like pokes. So we're gonna start over here and we're just gonna make a triangle. And then we're gonna make another triangle. We're gonna make another triangle. Okay, there's three triangles. Now we're going to make a triangle in between those triangles. Triangle, triangle. There's just two of those. Now I like to draw the line right there. Kind of makes it look like hair and you can draw the lines up here too if you'd like. See and I don't even worry about them being perfect. Okay. See and you can even do fun stuff like that like a pokey. Whatever you want to do I want you to be creative on that. Alright. So you ready? Let's do the body. Now the body is going to start actually right here because We've got like a big fat body. So we're going to do a poke, but it's just a curved line going down and then it comes back up. Okay. And then another big line. Okay. And then it comes back up. And another big line. Okay. Now this line is going to be kind of swirly like this. Don't even worry about it being perfect. All right. Okay. So now over here, we're going to draw a poke coming out. Okay. And another poke coming out. Right. And then this arm's going to come out of this right here. So it's going to be a curved line coming out. Okay. And then the line comes in because this is a really hairy monster. 
So we have to make it look fuzzy. Another line coming out. Curved line. Doesn't have to be perfect. Comes back in. Okay, now it's going to curve around right here on this poke right here. It's going to curve around because this Yeti is going to be holding snowballs. Okay, so see this curved line? We're going to make a poke. Okay, and then we're going to curve it around even more. All right? Now, we're just going to make this make a poke right here. See how it's curved? And then just make another curved line like that. Okay, now we're going to add the thumb and it's going to make it look like it's holding a ball. And it's just a loop like that. That's easy, right? Okay, now we just need to complete the arm. So we're just going to draw a line, let it poke, and then draw a line. It goes up. You're done. That's easy. But now you just draw a ball in there. And now for the ball, you want to just draw a circle, but you don't want to complete the circle. Got it? Perfect. Okay. Now you have this other arm that's coming over here because he's holding a whole bunch of snowballs. So we're going to start the arm right here. This is his back showing. Curved line. Comes back up because there's a poke. <laughs> Lots of pokies. And then it's curving over. See how it's curving over? Pokes. Okay. And then another line, and it's going to get closer to this hand right here. Okay, poke. And then curves really close to that hand. All right? That's perfect. It's fine. If yours looks different, it's okay. So what you're going to do, though, to make it look like a hand here, is you're going to take this point right here that you stopped, and you're going to come around like it's a circle. Okay? And you're going to make it look like there's a thumb here, okay? And to make it look like a thumb, you're going to go up just a little bit. And you're going to curve it around. Okay? And then you're just going to curve this like that. So it kind of just goes like a U. Okay? And see how this starts looking like a thumb? Alright, and this, you just it's like a loop. Just to complete that. Now you're going to draw a circle in this. So if you, you want it to just kind of complete the circle. Because you already have a circle basically. See? It's holding a snowball. Alright. Now you want to complete this arm. So I'm just going to let it poke right there. Going back the other direction. Come up. Okay. Poke again and come up. Alright. Now let's just draw some balls in here. So I'm going to start a ball right here, and then I'm going to have another ball come around right here. And make them like here. Sure, go ahead and just add them wherever you like, how many you want. It's like... You can also make the snowballs be talking by making like something like this, and then making like a circle, and then you can do this, because that's how they talk. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. What's that in? Is that in the book? Mm -hmm. We we got this idea from what book? Pubs of the Frozen Note. Yeah. And then we kind of just made up our own way we wanted it, huh? All right, now we got to complete the body over here because there's no body right there. That's silly. Okay, so we're just going to draw some pokes. See, it's like a V right there. And then just go make a curved line going down. That's all you His need. Got so much blood. The snowball just fell on it. <laughs> Okay, are you ready for the legs? Because this is really just a squiggly line and really easy to make a squiggly line, like a jiggity jaggedy line, okay. not like a, a squiggly like this line. Okay, ready? So you're going to make it a little bit distance from that and you're going to make a squiggly line like that. Okay, kind of between the legs, like this is between the legs. Got it? That's perfect. Okay. And then we're going to do another jagged line just coming up here. And notice how I'm not really caring or being perfect. It's okay. It can look whatever it wants to look like. I'm falling over. Okay, now where the feet are, they're in the snow. So we're just going to draw a line 
up to where our jiggy jaggies go. Now if you have another line that's a little higher, you can just take this line and go up a little higher and that's a hill. And there you have your snow. Find a walk up the hill. Yeah, there you go. You could put a snowball right here that fell down. Yeah. <laughs> so add to it however you wish. If you see something you would like to do, you could add more teeth. Whatever you want to do, be creative. And don't forget to sign your work. And if you'd like to color it in, you can go ahead and do that. But we're just not going to this time because we wanted to keep it like this. Here's our finished yetis. We hope you had fun. Thank you for giving this a like and a comment and subscribing. And we'll see you next time with another drawing lesson. Bye. Bye.